how to create multiple landing pages in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create multiple landing pages with multiple designs at the same time in just one, uh, let's say here, uh, store. So the process is going to be very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow over the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over the admin dashboard of your Shopify store. As you can see, we are on it. And now what are we going to do is to make sure that we have set up everything for our store so we can at least have one product so we can show it up in the pages. So we are going to head over to product and then we are going to add the product. Here I have a little inventory of the products. So now the next step is going to be here uh, visiting online store. The method that I am going to show you here is going to be consisting of the uh, organic, let's say here, creation and not using an app. You can go ahead and use the app uh, or a whatever app that you want to uh, for page builders and also theme, uh, let's say here, uh, or landing page creators. So, but here I'm going to use only a manual method. I'm going to click on customize on the themes. And from here, we are going to see the Shopify store theme editor. Now, at this moment, we have uh, everything in uh, hand. Now, what I am going to do is to click on the home page at the top. As you can see on the header, here we have a home page. Click on it, and then we are going to select products click on product and then we're going to see here default product and shoes here i have already created a template but in your case if it is the first time that you are going to visit this uh, particular uh, as you can see section we are not going to see shoes but we are going to see products only and if you have used some apps you're going to see the pre-named uh, let's say here templates for the apps. I'm going to click on create template. Now we are going to give that template a name and the base is going to be based on the default product. So I'm going to put here in the name, for example, here digital product, for example, design one. I'm going to create the template and we are going to see it right there. So basically we are going to see a product into this page. I'm going to click on change and make sure that we want to add here what or not add, but we're going to see the product that we want to uh, get it in the interface. Now, aside from that, what is the purpose of creating this and doing that template uh, into our Shopify store? So if you have created this page or this template, it is going to be independent from the standard page. That means that whatever, uh, let's say here, parameters, designs, personalization, section or blocks added into this page is not going to be add in or add it into the other pages or the standard page and that is going to make this specific page independent from the other so you are going to for example make the background of this page dark theme and you're going to have here only this page specific for that specific catalog or specific for this product as only dark but the other ones are going to be clear and white just like this. So now I'm going to start by modifying here the uh, scheme or the color scheme. So here we have, as you can see, the product information. So what I am going to do here is to modify the color scheme. So let's go ahead and use this blue, for example. And I'm going to let it as it is. Now, for example, we have featured collection so i'm going to let this as it is i have only changed the color so this is the first page of what i'm going to do i'm going basically to click on page 
and now what are we on, going to do is to exit that page and we are going to assign a product to it so we are going to head over the product and we are going to visit for example this one since i have created a digital product page i'm going to select the digital product that we have now we're going to head over here the right side of the screen we're going to see at the end of the uh, as you can see the sections or blocks theme template we have here this or this product assigned to the default product we're going to assign it to digital product design one i'm going to click on save and now watch the demonstration i'm going to open up real quick my store and I'm going to show you the difference. So, normally this is the page chosen, or this is the product that we have made the changes or personalization for the specific theme. So, if I visit this one, the casual shoe, we are going to see here a white background. And if I go to the uh, this one, we're going to see a blue background. So. I think that you've got the idea now. So only this one or this product is going to have the blue background and the other ones are not going to be right there. So that means that this page is independent. Now we are going to head over here. I am going to visit the theme again. And for now, we are going to click on customize. Here, what I'm going to do, click on home page again products and we are going to create another template and here we are going to type in for example the name so i'm going to type in here that food design one for example or like this click on create template so i have set up the cat food and normally we are going to see here the assigned product. Now this cat food is going to be standard white background and each one of the uh, collections are going to be here. Now I am going to delete this section and also this one, I'm going to hide it. So I am going only to let this specific area. So what is this? This is code. Now, it doesn't matter for this. I think, I think that this is an error, but it doesn't matter. Now, what I'm going to do is to change the background or the color scheme of this one to this. So we are going to wait for the color to change. Now, boom, I'm going to click on save. And this is the second landing page that we have created. Now, the other thing that we are going to do is to exit this page and make sure that we have assigned one product at least to this specific page template so i'm going to head over the cat food since it is the subject of the page and we are going to scroll down see here theme template select cat food design one now we are going to click on save so it is not going to be just for the key scheme and also the color changement for the background it is going to be in general for any type of block section or app that you have added into the store so i have assigned this now what i am going to do is to refresh the page of the store so we have this blue one and we have this dark one so if I go here and visit another page like the shoe, it is going to be just like this. And as you can see, the other sections that we've had from the featured collection and etc. are going to be disappeared. Why? Because we have removed them. Now, aside from that, we're going to head over to the store again, visit the online store, and then we are going to customize the theme. I think that you've got the right idea right here. So I'm going to add another thing or some other, uh, let's say, customization to this specific area or this specific product. So I'm going to click on the home page products 
create a template and chew for example shoe design one and i'm going to base it all always on the default product click on create template and then we are going to here modify some things for example i am going to add a section so we are going to add here let's go ahead and add maybe this multi row i'm going to put it in here and i'm going to delete the featured collection and also this one so i'm going basically here to change the images of this multi row for example here i'm going to add these images and here i'm going to add this one and finally we are going to add another image done i'm going to click on save and do not forget to assign the product so here what i am going to do is to exit go to the products again and then we are going to visit the shoe this one we're going to assign it like that here we have it shoe design one and save basically you can do the same thing where right there to here uh, only one product but it is going to be a little bit confused so you are going to see some errors and maybe some of the functions or some of the features that you have added to the other page is going to be here uh, neglected. so make sure that you are going to add here at least one uh, effect or one product only to the landing page that you have created so when you click on here this particular product you're going to see this the multi row that we have added and here if i go back for this so this is the last product that we haven't modified yet you're going to see it standard boom basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one